And if I open up here my link list, here's the project we've been working on. And the last time we were together, we threw together uh, some of these methods. We threw together the uh, basic constructor. We had the is empty, the clear, the size. We had a get. That was nice. And uh, we hadn't written any test code yet, but I think we're pretty much there. Uh, we still haven't done the add, so we probably need to do that, I think. So today, I want you to think about what would it look like to do the add. And there are going to be two ads here. One is going to be add uh, just where we have a piece of data we want to add. And the other one is going to be add where we specify an index and also the data. And we're going to write, write, write those today a little bit. But before we do that, there's another really important method which I forgot to consider. And I should have made you write it much earlier. And that's the two string. In fact, let me just put that right up here. And the two string should work very similar to how it works in uh, array list. So what does that look like? So for example, if I had a list like this, right? if I had a, a link list like this and I told it to print the list, what would the print look like? Who remembers? <laughs> and so this is what it looks like. So you have the brackets here, you have a, a comma and a space. Now, I want to talk a little bit today about this particular method and why this is an example of something called a fence post loop problem in computer science, a fence post loop. Let me tell you a little bit about fence posts. We've, it's a term I've never used before in this class. I don't usually teach it in CSA. I've never taught it in data structures before, but I'm going to try teaching it this year. It's a fairly simple concept. Let's say that I was going to build a fence, and the fence consisted of two things. You have these things, which are fence posts that look like this, and then you have fencing that looks like this. Now, let's say that I wanted to build a fence that was using uh, that was the length of two of these things. How many fence pieces would I use and how many fence post pieces would I use to make the fence? Okay, so I want to make it two of these things. If I have two of these things, how many fence posts would I need to make the fence? I want to make it two of these long here like this. So my question is, sir, is how many fence posts would I need to put up this fence? Three is right, sir. So I would need one right here. I would need one right here, and I would need another one right here, like that. And so that would be what my fence looks like. You can see that the number of fences pieces I have is always one less than the number of fence posts I have. Can you see that? If I had a fence with five fence pieces, I would have how many fence posts? Six. You can see that, right? Now, why am I mentioning this here? Look over here at this particular link list. One of the challenges you're going to have, it may seem like a trivial challenge, but it's kind of an interesting problem. Can you see that the last number doesn't have a comma? Can you see the last number? The three doesn't have a comma after it. So now when you create the two string, remember the two string doesn't print anything. It just formats it so that the print statement can print it. You're going to have to create a format here for this thing, and you're going to have to figure out when to add the commas and when not to add the comma. Now. Your first thought might be, when you're doing the loop to add the numbers and the commas, that maybe you could just add the comma all the time, and then when you get to the end, take away the last comma. That's not a great idea, because if you're thinking that way, you have not considered an edge case. If the list is empty, you could run into some problems there. So you need to be careful when you build your two string to make sure that you've considered all the edge cases and you're not trying to do some weird thing where the, the list is empty and all of a sudden you're, uh, well, if, if you remove the comma at the end, oh. then I think that would be OK. There are, that's, that is a good solution, sir. There are plenty of solutions. I just want to make sure you've considered this situation with the fence post loop here where uh, you have one fewer comma than you have items. So what I'd like you to do now is take 10 minutes or five minutes and write the two string method for your link list. And then if you want, you can jury rig a link list right here. 
since we don't really have a, an ad method yet, you can jury rig a link list right here in your uh, main method, and then you can call your to string by throwing the list into the print method and seeing if your to string is working. You should test it with an empty list, with a list that has one item, maybe three items. That would be a good way to make sure that your to string is working. That's the only one we're going to work on today for now.